At Terry Bradley's lab on East Farm, a group of graduate students are spawning rainbow trout. But these are not your average trout. Myostatin in, in humans and in mammals has been shown to regulate muscle growth. The question is, what does it do in fish? We've been able to produce transgenic fish that are expressing proteins that inhibit myostatin and other related factors. There's a tremendous increase in the amount of muscle mass in the fish. His team spent 500 hours injecting a special gene into 20,000 rainbow trout eggs. The results surprised even Bradley himself. We call it a six-pack. We think it's very reminiscent of the double muscling that we see in Belgian blue cattle. So the fish actually have what appear to be six-pack abs that we see in humans, even though fish don't have abdominal muscles. They appear to have large regions of muscle on the dorsal regions of fish, and overall just a very you know, enhanced muscular appearance. While the fish have been genetically modified, Bradley claims that they behave normally. The fish grow great. They grow at a phenomenal rate. They experience no abnormal behavior. They feed properly. We don't seem to have any problems with them at all. So they seem to be happy fish. If Bradley's bodybuilder trout can meet regulatory approval, he believes they can have a major impact on the industry. So overall, we see about a 15 to 20 percent increase in muscle mass in these fish, which if you put that on a global scale of, of fish culture, just with, say, salmon alone, where there are a million and a half metric tons of salmon produced, that's a significant amount of increase in actual flesh that would be harvested. If we were able to get these fish to the point where they would be accepted and could be grown, it has tremendous implications in increasing the mass of the fish and increasing the profitability of fish culture. Ultimately, this development could make more seafood available at a reduced cost.